Welcome to Live Alive. In today's video we'll start with, Amarim really wants to replace Jurgen Klopp. According to The Independent, Ruben Amarim would like to take over at Anfield. It is said that the Portuguese tactician, described as one of the best by Pep Guardiola, is currently being chased by Liverpool and Barcelona. The Spanish giants are also on the lookout for a new manager after Xavi decided to step down, like Klopp. However, the independent believe that Amrim would prefer to join Liverpool than Barcelona. It comes after Portuguese journalist Pedro Sepulveda claimed that Liverpool had already started talks with the 39-year-old about replacing Klopp. Amrim has added further credence to his blossoming managerial career this season by guiding Sporting CP to the top of the Primera Liga. With the Portuguese giants on course to win a second league title in three years under the Liverpool target's guidance, the man from Lisbon's first Primera Liga title came back in 2021, when he ended Sporting CP's 19-year wait for league glory in his first full campaign at the club. Clearly, Amarim is a highly talented coach, and it is no wonder Michael Edwards likes him. If Amarim does replace Klopp, we would expect Luis Diaz and Darwin Nunez to get even better. The South American duo played for Porto and Benfica respectively before moving to Liverpool, where they competed against Sporting CP for the biggest prizes in Portugal. Amrim presumably did a lot of homework on Diaz and Nunez when preparing for games, so he should know all about them and also how to get the best out of the duo. Liverpool Arsenal fans furious at VAR decision after Man City win, Liverpool and Arsenal fans are furious that their title rivals Man City did not concede a penalty during their 4-2 win over Crystal Palace on Saturday. Pep Guardiola's side drew level with Liverpool at the top of the Premier League table after their goal-filled victory at Selhurst Park, City survived a scare in the first half when Josco Gladiol collided with Eberechi Ease in the penalty area. Palace's claims for a spot kick were quickly dismissed by referee Paul Tierney and VAR decided to not intervene after a very swift check from Stockley Park. The incident happened just moments before the half-time break when the clash was tied at 1-1. Liverpool and Arsenal fans flocked to social media to complain about the decision with some supporters claiming it was corruption, that is a penalty, cheating club. That's the clearest penalty you'll see all day. Disgusting. City cheats. Corruption plain and simple. WTF this is a clear penalty. Corruption, Arsenal will have the chance to climb back above City in the table when they travel to Brighton on Saturday afternoon. Meanwhile, Liverpool have the opportunity to extend their lead at the top if they beat arch-rivals Manchester United on Sunday afternoon, the 7th of April. Thiago back training, it has been an awful season for Liverpool on the injury front, with too many players missing big chunks of the campaign, however, none have had it worse than poor Thiago Alcantara. The Spanish midfielder has played just five minutes as Liverpool aim for a treble, it had seemed like Thiago was set to play a big role in the end of the season when he featured against Arsenal at the start of February. But having played just a handful of minutes, the 32-year-old has now been out for another month, with his contract ending in the summer, there have been plenty of rumours around what Thiago does next. At this stage it would be a huge surprise if he were to stay at Anfield. But with six weeks of the campaign left, some are maybe still hoping that we haven't quite seen the last of Thiago in a Liverpool shirt. And judging by a post put out by his agency yesterday, maybe there's a chance that ends up being true, it really was brilliant to see Thiago back in action earlier in the year. After pretty much a full 12 months out, there had been a worry we'd never see him again, but after getting back, just as it always seems to, bad luck struck again for the former Barcelona man. As of now, there's been no real update on his current condition, so, it was nice to see a post on X from his management, Unique Sports Group, on Friday night. It looks like Thiago is at least pushing to get back on the pitch. Our wizard keeps going, said the caption, alongside two pictures of Thiago at work in the gym in his Liverpool training kit. Hopefully a sign that he's not far away. Jurgen Klopp explains why he stormed out of interview after Liverpool lose, Jurgen Klopp has opened up on the reason he stormed out of an interview following Liverpool's 4-3 defeat to Manchester United in the FA Cup, revealing he a snapped when the reporter questioned his side's intensity levels, normally intensity is the name of your game, so how come it became so difficult in extra time? Fredrickson asked the Liverpool head coach, less than impressed by Fredrickson's line of questioning, a bemused Klopp snapped back, a bit of a dumb question I feel, before saying, come on, you are obviously not in a great shape and I have no nerves for you, and walking out of the interview. 
Now that the dust has settled on United's victory, Klopp has explained why the post-match interview left him so furious, with the German highlighting how many games Liverpool had played in comparison to their opposition in the build-up. There was this famous interview afterwards I knew what would happen actually, Klopp said, I was really calm after the game. I wasn't even angry, because I knew that, yes, we had to win it in this period. The first 15 to 20 minutes United were there, really aggressive and scored the goal, but then we took over, and it was the best we played against them for a while, for sure. There was really good football without scoring, then after 90 minutes, I saw minute by minute it was too much. It was the end of this intense spell, after all the games we played, extra time was a killer for us, it was the first time I saw us struggling. It was too much for this specific group, with the way we had to change, with the players coming back just in time for this game and these kind of things. But I was not angry, then the guy asked me about intensity and that was just when it snapped, according to Klopp, Liverpool simply did not have the legs to get over the line against United as the game went to extra time. And that's the final content of today's video, like subscribe to support Live.